Hi there, welcome to my next video for the Comp 1511 Assignment 2 Pokédex. For this video, I'm going to be looking at finding Pokémon, what that actually means, and then the find current Pokémon function, a little bit about how that would work. So, if we think about how the Pokédex reference works when we run 1511 Pokédex reference, after we've added a Pokémon to our Pokédex, when we try and print out its name, for example, or its details with the D command, we just get stars and dashes, we don't actually get any information about the Pokemon itself. If we then run the F command here, this find command, that will set the current Pokemon to be found, which means that now when we print it out, we get a name, or when we call the details command, we get the full name, details, height, weight, and so on. So let's talk about how we could actually go about making that work in the code for our Pokedex. I've got this diagram from one of my previous videos, so it's a Pokédex struct with a linked list of several Pokémon, and I've got a function here for the find current Pokémon function. So what we need to do in order to know whether the current Pokémon has been found, we need some way to represent this data in our Pokénode struct. One really cool way that we could do that would be to actually store a field called found or something to that extent, which says whether or not this current Pokémon has been found. And so we could store that information in our Pokenote, uh, this struct that I've got over here, having something to the extent of int found, for example, a way of just representing within this Pokenote whether the Pokemon that's stored in this Pokenote has been found or not. In terms of what that might look like, looking at this diagram I've got over here from one of my previous videos, I've added this found field to each of the Pokenote structs that I've got drawn here. So when your find current Pokemon function is called, your function would need to go to the currently selected Pokemon, which for stage 1 is always going to be the first Pokemon on the list, so this one here at Pokedex Arrowhead. It would then need to change that Pokenode's found field to have the value yes rather than no. You probably wouldn't want to actually have the words yes and no, you just want to use an integer 1 or 0 or the hash defines for true or false that we've given you. But having some way of storing in your Pokenode the fact that this Pokemon has now been found. So then, when it comes to your print Pokemon function or detail Pokemon function, it can simply look inside the currently selected Pokemon, which in the case of stage 1 is always going to be this first Pokemon here, and then check its found field to see whether that's set to true. And if it is set to true, then print out all of the details in full like we had over here, uh, you know, the, the name, the height, the weight, and so on. And if it's not set to found, then just print out these stars and dashes. And so similarly, when you're printing out all of the Pokemon in your Pokédex, like we've got up here on the left, you'd want to check whether each of these Pokemon has been found yet, and if it hasn't been found, if it doesn't have that found field set, just print it out as all stars. And if it has been found, like I got over here on the right, print out the full name. Hopefully that's all made sense. If you've got any questions, you can ask them on the forum, and otherwise, I'll see you in my next video.